Now, bear with me, I'm just going to get uh, our live demo system. It is currently hosted in our offices in Reading Up. I emphasize it's a live system, so we're looking at real sites here. And right at the heart of designer secure apps was giving access, giving information to the users that need it. We are, as Ian said, our polling engines have been out installed at monitoring centres for six years now, and those polling engines have been logging information on the monitoring centres receivers. Loads of information, and that's useful to people. When we sat down and identified the number of users that information was useful to, the list was huge. So we realised that, first of all, the system had to be multi-user, which is why we've got a login page here, but secondly, it had to be accessible which is why it's, why it's web-based, and this is in the standard web browser. It doesn't look web-based once we log in, but it is. Now, I'm going to log in today as myself, and fortunately, in this case, the monitoring centre gives us as far to me full access rights. But the monitoring centre has control. They can control what I can see and what I can't see. Now, once I've logged in, we go. the first thing we see is this system warnings box down here. It's flashing at us. I can click that and then get more information about what's wrong with the system. And these warnings are tailored to myself. These are tailored to what I am concerned about depending on what access rights I've been given. So if I'm a retail manager, I'm only going to have my own sites in these warning boxes. Again, very personalised. We can click on these warnings and we can start to drill down into even more information as to what's happening. So on this screen, we can see we're currently looking at all dialers. We can see the last time it was updated. We can see how many dialers we're currently looking at, how many of those that aren't commissioned, there's 11 in this case. We can see that three of them are okay. Now we can also see down the bottom here, how many have got performance. And I'm going to show you the screen a bit later, so I'm not going to deal with delve into this information just yet. You can start to see we can really drill down into what's going on. Alex, can you just try focusing on it? Oh, is it a bit blurry? Yeah. It's all right, your iPhone. I told you you shouldn't have that drink. <laughs> Thanks. Is that better? <coughs> yeah, okay, good. Yeah. What I'm going to do very quickly is run through what all the apps do. But just before that, let me explain why we put them into applications or this new apps. <coughs> <coughs> we realised we're going to give this system, there's going to be new users accessing this system, never accessed it before. And we also realised it's not acceptable for that, those users to need training, huge documents on how to use the system. So it had to be easy to use. Part of that is breaking this down into very small, what we've called secure apps. And each secure app has a small number of tasks, some only do one, but it does it in a very quick and precise way. So a user only has to remember what app they used before for a job, not what menu and bit of a system they had to use. It's meant to be easy to use. So if I just go through what apps we've got here, <coughs> the first one is the authorizer. It's what the monitoring centers will use to set up and control permissions. The next one is system settings. Again, it's for the monitoring centers to set up the system to work the way they want it to. One of the reasons we have so many monitoring centres on board across the world is our system is very flexible. It can be made to work with any existing receiving setup out there, and this is how they can do it. Next, we have templates. Key concept to make the system usable is templates. It allows the monitoring centres to select what profiles of setups they want to offer. I'll explain this in much detail later. The allocator is used for creation and editing of the accounts on a day-to-day -day basis. Next, we have the system detective. lets you get an overview of how the system is performing as a whole. And then we have the system analyzer. And this really allows you to drill down into very in-depth information on what your system is doing. And up until that point, or up to this point, I've been talking about tools for the monitoring centers. Really is the boring stuff. The next ones, the really interesting stuff, these are the applications for new users. This is the bit we're really interested in, we believe that we can tell the monitoring sensor told us they're really interested in. We have the system detective. 
allows you to see what's happening across the sites you have access to. The Dialer Analyzer allows you to drill into one specific site and look at very in-depth information on what's happening on that site. We have the Stat App, allows you to produce statistics on the sites you have access to. Dialer Dialog allows you to initiate upload download calls, and I will explain that a lot more later on. And finally, what I am is this with the mobilizer. Very, very important, very useful tool. <laughs>